Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio workshop. I'm Exterminator, thanks for joining me, and unfortunately I was not able to contact, uh, get in contact with Zuri today for this episode, so I'm doing it solo again. Uh, hopefully he will be with us for the next one on Monday. Uh, but I was thinking of what to show you, and I decided on a circuit build that I came up with here that, uh, that seems to work pretty well. Now, I mean, is it groundbreaking? No. I mean, circuits have been... You know, builds like this have been done over and over uh, to optimize the best they can. But this one um, does seem to work quite well. So it's very long, as you'll notice, um, which in some situations may be a problem. But the reason it is this long is so that we can get the correct ratio. So um, just a little kind of background. Without modules, uh, the ratio for circuits is 3 to 2, as in 3 copper machines to 2 circuit machines without modules or beacons. Um, as most of you know, that's the ratio. However, once you factor in productivity modules and such, um, the ratio, what you may hear a lot, is it then becomes 1 to 1. But that's actually simplified down, and even that is not quite correct. Um, the actual correct ratio for modulated and beacon setups like this is 15 to 14. Um, which is just slightly more than one-to-one -one, um, overall. And that's what we have here. This is, um, there's 29 assemblers here. If I take a blueprint just to show you. There's 29 assemblers here, and 15 of them um, are cable, and 14 of them are uh, circuits. And what we have is we actually have a max beacon setup here um, because of the way these beacons are placed, and I will power on in a second. Um, but because of how these beacons are placed, we're passing through a chest, which um, you may think is not ideal, but it does actually work because these circuit machines kind of share the copper cable machines, um, which does allow it to work. Um, now, just for contrast, we do have a build here, which is pretty standard. This is like a, a Madzuri type of build, um, which works uh, totally fine. This one, I've actually found this one produces slight, excuse me, slightly more than this one. So if we power this, this on just to see the bonus. You can see um, number of effect sources is 12 with a 5.5 crafting speed. And uh, if, we, uh, if we take this, which apparently does not reach, um, but if we take this and power it on, um, you can see this actually has 16 effect sources. Of course, this does count the modules, but still, um, with a crafting speed of 8, so this is actually a faster speed um, than this one here by a bit. And it does have little power, or not little power poles, it has substations here to power. Um, it's like every other or every two beacons if you want to look at it that way. Um, and once this thing fully ramps up, it can do about 17,500 circuits a minute, um, this build right here. We'll let, give it a second to, to ramp up and even out. Um, but you can see this is working pretty much all the time. Um, and you'll notice I do have two inserters for everything. Um, you probably don't need two inserters necessarily in some of these cases, but I did notice that if you just did one, um, some of these couldn't keep up. And even with two, you can see that this almost can't even export fast enough. And it, for a quick second, has a little lack of copper cable, but it's just like so minimal. Um, And it, it, it's kind of evened out now, um, so it's catching up. But once this build does run fully, um, you can see right here, 17.5k a minute. Um, and it should sit steady at this. Uh, we'll give it, you can see it actually jumped up a little bit, 17.6k. Uh, so we'll give it just another second. But, uh, but yeah, here you go. So I like this, and I've actually found this beacon arrangement um, is actually better than the standard square. You can see I've done some other testing here. Um, with like inserters or a better example would be uh, like labs or normal. So this is like a, a standard square setup, right? Where you get your 12 beacon coverage. And um, this is pretty standard to get your max beacons. Um, you can never really get more than 12 beacons. Um, but then this setup also gets 12 beacons. If we take the things out of here, you'll see 12. Um, but this is far more compact having it in here like this, right? Um, you can see, I mean this, well, I was doing some other stuff here, but this one is far more compact. This has five machines 
um, here and for five machines using this design, um, one, two, three, four, five, this one comes all the way out to here um, for the same amount of machines. So it's way, way more compact. So same thing applies to the circuits. Um, kind of, I mean, if you don't want it long, you can build it on top of each other. Um, you could do like cut it in half and put the other one on top, which I guess would work. It may not be quite as good because it's not the full 15 to 14 um, in a row. But yeah, so there you go guys. 17.6 is actually what it's settled on now. And uh, that's quite a lot. It works pretty consistently. And again, you can play around with taking an inserter out or whatever, but I have found that you do pretty much need two um, for all of this just to keep up. Um, I mean, you can see this thing is, is crafting insanely fast. Anyway, Blueprint um, will be down in the description for you. If you want to check it out, tweak it, see if you can do something better um, or use it, feel free. But anyway, that'll be it for this one, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I did do hope you enjoy. Um, if you did, uh, leave a like. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.